Hey, what's going on, happy hustlers? My name is Tom. For those of you guys who haven't been to my channel, welcome. In this channel, I just basically talk about how I can help you guys to make more money selling on Amazon. And for me, I'm an Amazon seller myself as well, very involved in the community. I uh, started my Amazon business about a year ago and have been really enjoying the journey so far. And I'm also documenting my journey of transitioning from a six figure corporate job into becoming a full-time entrepreneur. So if you guys are interested in Amazon hacks, my journey, how to become a successful Amazon seller, welcome to this journey and I hope you guys can subscribe to this channel. So today I actually wanna talk about something. If you're new, um, you probably wouldn't know this, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I never talk about product research. And that is because I don't do product research. Um, it is actually my partner's job uh, to find all the products and um, I just have to validate them. So um, Viral Launch, as you guys know, are a great company. Uh, they have a lot of data. They're one of the market leaders in this space. They reached out to me to see if I had any interest in making a video on showing them, showing everybody here the new tool that they launched called uh, Product Discovery. At first, I was very hesitant because I got so much stuff going on right now, Amazon, outside of Amazon. I just really didn't show have any interest, but they really made me an offer that I can't refuse. And what was crazy is I started playing this tool and within the first 10 minutes, I found an insane product. Now guys, before I go any farther, I just want to say one thing, uh, two things actually. Number one is product research is probably the most important aspect of your Amazon business. It doesn't matter if you are the best Amazon seller, you're the most knowledgeable Amazon seller. There are certain products that are just gonna be, all you need to do is list it on Amazon and it's gonna sell. There are other products where you can have the best copywriting, you can have the best PPC campaigns, you can have the best graphic design, but you're competing with people with three to 5,000 reviews and that is not a fun game to play. It takes the same amount of time to launch a, um, I, I mean, if, if you launch product A and pro product, um, product B, it takes a, so, it's the same amount of time, the same amount of effort to launch that product, really, generally speaking. So now here's the thing is there are so many core, there's, this is the first golden nugget I'm going to share with you guys, okay? You guys have to think outside the box, okay? I'm sure everybody have heard that saying before, right? Think outside the box. Now that's more important than ever. Um, what I mean by that is there are so many freaking p new people coming on Amazon every single day. There was a stat that was done uh, by Market Pulse, I believe, and they said on average it's about a thousand new sellers per day come into the marketplace to start selling on Amazon. Think about this, guys. Everybody, you know, we started at one point, right? Now here is the thing that everybody teaches you. Like, doesn't matter if you're on a podcast or whatever, this is the very, very um, gen general product selection method, right? Pick something that is between $20 to $50. Pick something that fits inside a shoe box. Pick something that has, you know, on the first page, there are a bunch of people with very little reviews. Pick something that is uneasily breakable. Pick something that is, you know, those are very, very no general, um, you know, the advice that was given to us when we first started selling on Amazon. Now, fast forward to almost 2018 now, I'm recording this December in 2017, the competition is getting so freaking stiff on Amazon that whenever a new seller comes to the marketplace, let's say a thousand sellers come to the marketplace today, that's 7,000 new sellers coming to the marketplace every single week, that's 28,000 new sellers every single month, okay? Let's say you just take 50% of that. That's 15,000 people looking for the exact same product criteria using Jungle Scout, using this and that. There are only so many products to go around that fits within that criteria. So what should you do? Well, why don't we think outside the box, guys? There are so many freaking products that are above $50, that are bigger in weight, that are this and that, that are easily broken, or not easily, but that are a little bit more you know, um, there, there's a lot more moving parts to them. Why don't you start looking for products in that, in that sector, in that criteria, but no one else is. You would be absolutely surprised of the amount of golden gems opportunities that you can be found in these different types of criterias, okay? 
Now, what I also like about these criteria, guys, is that there's a small barrier to entry. So it costs a little bit more capital to come in, but the competition, it's literally 10 times less. For me, I'm, I'm just about to share with you guys, I'm gonna actually do a live demonstration of how to find these products using my way. I'm actually gonna be um, very, very generous. I'm, I'm gonna be showing you guys the products. I'm actually gonna be doing more of these videos. I'm trying to aim for daily until Christmas. So we'll do like 12 days of Christmas and I'm just gonna give you guys 12 product ideas and I'll tell you guys exactly what I would do if that product uh, is a good product. Now, so um, where was I? So basically uh, what I'm gonna be doing with you guys is show you guys exact step-by-step -step of how to use this tool, okay? And for me, one of my first products was the vitamin C serum. It was a terrible, terrible product to sell. But having said that, we learned so much through that experience and we're still selling it. And you know, it's not like making 50, 60K, $1,000 a month, but it's doing okay. It's not to the point where we say, okay, we don't wanna do this anymore. Like it's actually a profitable product. So um, I'm gonna be jumping right into the screen here and show you guys the exact step-by-step -step of how I use this tool and leverage this tool and um, yeah, basically show you guys exactly what I do here, okay? Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna go on www.viral-launch.com and you want to click on the, well, I locked in already. Oh, by the way, guys, I have a special coupon code for you guys where you can save 50% off on your first month. And um, and I'm gonna include that somewhere in the, in the video here. But, okay, so basically, um, I've already you know, done some parts, but they give you four different ways to find products, okay? So I know a lot of people are going to be asking, well, what's the difference between this and Jungle Scout? I'm going to show you guys exactly what the differences are, even though I, you know, haven't really used Jungle Scout too much, but I still know a little bit of it. Okay. So let's just check out some categories here, right? I'm just checking off some random ones. I know baby is very lucrative electronics. Hey guys, remember what they say, stay away from electronics, but you know what? If everybody's staying away from there, there are opportunities in there. Okay. House, uh, health and household um uh, industrial scientific the boring stuff and you know what sometimes the boring stuff are the ones that makes the most amount of money uh we have the office supplies and yeah so let's just check that off and then home and kitchen so check off wherever you want to check off right there are certain categories that needs that are gated and you know gating um pretty easy to un get on gated these days i think so here is some of the criteria i personally follow so i want a product that has a minimum sales of 300 units per month that's only 10 units a day so i need at least 10 units a day okay that's not too much to ask for maximum you know 3000 you can i mean you can put this as a crazy insane high number that's fine as well okay then price so this is what i did here guys look everybody types in this okay everybody does 15 to 50 a lot of people do this but what if you put 70 and the max just let it run there aren't going to be that many. I can tell you this right now. There aren't going to be that many people that are looking for this criteria. And there are so many golden gems in here, guys. Trust me on that. I'm just about to show you guys some, okay? Then monthly revenue, I want to be making at least $5,000 per month in revenue and all the way up to, let's say, 100 k And then review count, I don't want anything that really has to do with, you know, 100 reviews. I think anything within 50 reviews, I can get that in a few weeks, uh, maybe a month uh, or two, and that's manageable for me. So here we come down to the advanced filters. This is kind of cool, right guys? So what I like to do, the very first thing I like to do guys is sales pattern. I like to look for the up and coming. So these are the trends. So it's really funny because I, I heard a story of these guys that all they do is they use Google Trends and they're like Google Trends masters, right? You can just type in Google Trends and there's like a tool that Google offers for free. And what they will do is they will look for trends that's coming up, fidget spinners, solar eclipse glasses. They were all on that. And they made about $50 million last year, just catching up on trends. So I like to do up and coming and then the number of sellers. So you know how sometimes you come on a listing and they're like a hundred sellers. Well, usually those are like retail arbitrage on arbitrage and stuff like that, right? You don't want to do a product like that. You want to do a private label product. So uh, with a private label product, it's usually only one to two sellers, three, maybe um, our listing, we actually did a wholesale order the other day. So now there's a, you know, a hijacker, but it's with our blessing. So, um, yeah. So with uh, number of sellers, I do one to three. 
and then reviews sales to reviews so let's say you sold um I, so basically what it is this is the average sales to review ratio for the product on amazon right so it's an is exactly what it sounds like it's an average uh, it's an average sales to ratio for the particular product. Um, the higher this is, the more sales and the lower the review. So I usually like to put around three. And then obviously we we'll want to do Amazon fulfillment. Um, don't really know what these guys are. And then you can just click, you know, view filter results. So we'll give it a second to load here. And then here is basically when you can just, you know, start going down the list, right? Um, you know, you take a look at some of the products like. I actually found a product earlier I want to show you guys so give me one quick second so I was just browsing I was browsing I was browsing and then I was like huh this seems pretty interesting um, it's electronic it's a you know a self robot um, it's a self robot uh, cleaner right vacuum cleaner so what you can do then is you can click on this little um, view on market intelligence and it will kind of give you a breakdown of you know the bra uh, the brand the title the category bsr stuff like that right and what i like to do is i like to see the bsr here and making sure that it's not doing anything insane so this one i'm you know it's it's a little bit tough to tell but they might have launched here um and then they might have done some sort of a launch but after that it's been very very stable i don't want this to, like jump up and down jump up and down that's very unstable right but look at this guys these guys have 29 reviews. These guys sell about 327 units per day, uh, per month. So that's 10 units per month, uh, per day, $150 price. And they're generating $50,000 in revenue guys. And it's a five out of five star. So this is something I'm very interested in, right? And it's got the market trends and you can see that the trend is somewhat an upward trend. Um, and the re the, the average price is not something that's on the huge decline. And um, it's also what I like to what, mm, hmm. yeah. So they have a bunch of other you know other tools in here. Usually, yeah, I probably have to go into um, the Chrome extension. Um, yeah, here we go. So you can click on detailed statistics, and it will tell you kind of a um, you know um, top ten listings. There's about this many average sales. There's about this many average review. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, take that back. So we need to actually type in the keyword, which is so we will just quickly go back here. Give me one quick second, guys. Sorry about that. Um, we'll open this product on Amazon, right? And then we'll obviously it's probably robot vacuum cleaner. I would say that's the main keyword, right? So we'll type that in. Okay um i'll just go to all and you guys can see that if i were to click on this viral launch chrome extension um now it's pulling up all the um different brands on the first page and i'm just going to sort everything by review so basically what i'm looking for here guys is i want to see guys with very little reviews that are actually making decent money as well so you know 72 it's not insanely to get um it's very doable so you can see that this person with 75 reviews is making 58 56 thousand dollars 64 reviews 112 thousand 44 reviews 93 thousand and seven reviews 13 thousand right so guys, um, this might not be the perfect product. I, you know, I really just want to show you the mentality that you need to have. Product research, there is no secret, there is no hacks, there is no, um, you know, the, there is no like a shortcut, right? You just need to basically um, do your research. Uh, what I like to do also is I like to see, I like to go into their storefront, right? I like to go to the storefront and see what else they're selling. So I will go to their storefront, something like this. And then I will just run another uh, scan on their on their storefront and see you know if there's anything else that interesting pops up. So loading, let's see here. So they have monthly revenue, monthly revenue. Yeah, so they don't really have anything, but this is definitely something that you can do. Is let's say if you find a product 
and you can click into their storefront and then you can run another jungle scout okay so i guess the main takeaway guys here is this um you don't want to do everything that everybody else is doing because the space is so limited right now there are so many sellers coming on amazon it's truly a gold rush so you really need to start thinking outside the box so i'll give you an example the product that i was actually you know i was screwing around with this tool and i was going on amazon and our market intelligence and using the using this tool and i found a awesome awesome actually you know what guys i was going to cut this video short but w what if we just did um you know what if we just kept on looking so let's just maybe we should just do that give me a second here i don't really know what's going on okay so uh let's go to source let's go to product discovery let's go to search so the rest of this video, I'm just gonna be free. I'm just gonna be freestyling. I don't know where this video is gonna lead us, um, but let's yeah, let's have some fun, I guess. Think outside the box, guys. So let's say, why don't we do something crazy? Let's go hundred, and then two hundred, and then no max. Month three revenue. Let's do ten thousand, and then and then no max. Review count, let's go 40, and then this still is all the same. Let's go to home and kitchen. Let's do beauty. Why not? Let's do, um, let's see here, maybe electronics. And let's just see what comes out from this. See if it gives us any data. Okay, cool. So it's giving us some stuff. So we just gotta kind of go through it, I guess. So let's sort by monthly uh, monthly review and some maybe electric heat. What is this? Honey hive. What's this? Realistic baby doll. Silicone full body waterproof. Hmm. Sounds kind of uh, a little bit creepy, but let's see if it. Realistic baby doll. Why is it under home and kitchen? It's even more. That's really weird. Realistic baby doll. Man, the stuff you can find in them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look here. What I really like about this tool right away is that giving us a product idea score out of five. So it's anything that says like two, you know, three is maybe it's worth looking at. And let's just take a look at um, average review quantity. Wow, so there's a lot of guys on the first page with very little reviews. See that, guys? And let's see what kind of numbers they're doing. 61, 63. 26,000, 25,000, 22,000, 25,000, 16,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. What I like to do then is I like to open up all these listings, okay? And what I'm looking for here is see how optim how optimized their listings are. Because if their listings are 100% optimized, you know, it's a, it might be a little bit tough for me to play the game. But, you know, there's a lot of this. Yeah, this is, uh, they got 25, yeah, like 25 star 25% one star reviews, that's terrible, right? So normally what I like to do if I'm pursuing this, if I'm really starting to think sourcing the product, I would actually go to the customer review and I'll go to the one and I'll read all the reviews, the negative reviews, right? So you guys can do that. Um, this one, yeah, it seems like all the, yeah, it seems like all the, um, Yes, this is not a very well optimized listing. So guys, look, here's the opportunity, guys. I like seeing stuff like this because it gives me the, you want to have some sort of a competitive advantage. And obviously these people are, have a really crappy product. So you can go out there and read all the negative reviews, work with the manufacturer and come up with a product that, um, that uh, you know, um, has basically all the features uh, that these one star reviews are, not as cute as the picture. No, the hair. See, the hair on this doll is terrible. So make sure that the hair is not terrible. <laughs> um, product description misleading. Not happy. Looks like plastic. Um, very not very lifelike. Not expected for a price. Looks like she came from Walmart. 
So, wow, there's a lot of negative reviews. Look at that. Like, none of these guys have solid reviews and they're making good money. So, imagine if you have a great product, none of these guys have good reviews. So, I actually like this. This is not a bad product. Um, something that you could uh, definitely mess around with. Give me a second. Yeah, I just need to move this stupid thing because it's really bothering me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there's a little bit of technical difficulties there. So let's see if we can find any other goodies. Let's see here. So there's no secret guys like you just literally gotta flip through trampoline no i think that's a little bit too big what if i were to sort by reviews there's no secret just gotta look through it find the opportunity do some research and that's how you find products. Okay guys, you know what? I, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. It's literally just, you know, set the criteria. That's the most important thing you guys gotta understand is set the criteria. And, and um, also as well is what I wanna share with you guys as well is this is once you find a product, the next steps are to basically start sourcing it. I have a sourcing agent in China that I've been working with and she's awesome. And basically all I just gotta do is I gotta do a video kind of explaining what this product is, send her some pictures, send her some materials, sending her some reviews of why people don't like this product, send her some reviews of why people do like this product, and then um, lay out everything super clearly, send that video to her and she's gonna go out and basically start looking for these products start sending me quotes, negotiate, and we order samples. Once we order samples, um, we you know compare the manufacturers and whatnot, and then we get a quote from the freight forwarder, and I make sure all my costs are uh, feasible, and then we place an order. It's as simple as that. So guys, um, I talk a lot, I, I, I really don't talk a lot about product research because um, we're trying to grow a beauty brand. We're very focused on that niche. So we really don't, I, like, I, I hardly ever go on, you know, these um, Jungle Scout or Viral Launch and try to find products within other categories. Maybe I should starting now, but um, yeah, so that's why I haven't really done a whole lot of product research, but I did find a few products that are selling really, really well. And um, I got a little bit greedy and I can't share those <laughs> ones with you guys because I'm actually going to be launching those. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys can just, you know, go through this, I'm going to be doing more videos. I think I want to do maybe a video a day or maybe in two videos a day until up until Christmas and then just go through this with you guys. Next video might take a little bit longer. Um, I don't know. Every single time I want to be able to find one product. So today, what I really want you guys to understand is how, where the opportunities are is not within that, you know, that, that, that space that everybody's talking about under $50. It's where it's, the stuff that you never really thought about. It's the complete opposite of how you've been doing things, right? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, make sure that you guys, if you guys want to try this, there's a 50% off coupon um, down in somewhere below. So make sure you guys use that to save 50%. And if you guys have any questions with regards to anything, I also have a video that I did with regards to some of the check marks that I look for when I'm validating a product. So I'll link that um, video in the description below as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I'm going to have to get a lot more work done tonight. So I will let you guys go. Catch you guys in a bit.